it's kind of like um, it's heartbroken to understand the fact that a lot of people out there seem not to be having the better side of life. But let's not forget one thing. The Bible says, above all, let all men be prosperous. How come do some people who have better side of life and then the others do not have the brighter side of life? You know, I got myself to think about some. Then I said some. The Bible says, miners don't fall from heaven. Now, this is where the problem is. I cannot transfer a file from my phone to your phone via Bluetooth if we do not pair. I can't send it to you via airdrop if you do not set your airdrop to receive from everyone other than just being contact. So now, do you know what life is all about? Who are the people you connect to? Who are the people you reach out to? Who are the people you talk to? What did they tell you? What about them drives you crazy? What about them inspires you? There should actually be some reason as to why you would not want to sleep. You know, there's this feeling about sleep. It's so sweet. Sleep is so sweet that when someone wants to just wake you up, you just get mad. You get mad because that shit is so sweet as fuck. You just get mad. But then, that shit that's so sweet is the reason why you wear you out all the time. You expect to be on the next level, but then you are not being on the next level still. It's because you can um, actually do the same shit over and over again, and then you expect a different result. You know, I did a video some time past, and a couple of months later, still having had a video about sleep. Then I see my content in this video. I was like, this is it. Someone else understands what I'm talking about, sleep. Why are you poor? What do you understand by being poor? Why are you where you are? Why are you not getting your ass out from where you are? Do you keep looking at the problems all the time? Or you been looking about your attitude towards this problem all the time? Because it, it actually feels so bad. I see a lot of people go through shit they go through. But then, I told my friend son this evening, I said to her, God wants to bless you. God wants to reach out to you. God wants to elevate you from point A to point B. But because manners do not fall from heaven, he does not know how to reach out to you. That's what we call grace. Grace is that tool you need that you don't need to struggle but for that shit to connect to you. But the question is this. How many times do you see a Ferrari in a ghetto? How many Range Rovers visit a ghetto? How many Bugattis visit a ghetto? They can't come there. They have what you want. They have what you need. But because you're waiting, they ain't gonna come to you. That's the reason why you're poor. Dr. B. Newman has a quote. Opportunities don't go to those who wait, but to those who dare to attack. How much do you attack your opportunities and then you blame nature for making you poor? The Lord said, I'm gonna bless you according to my riches in glory above all let men be prosperous why are you damn fucking poor why can't you put this call on your table why are you still talking to the same people you keep talking to why are you still being around the same circle you've been over the years and nothing has happened in your life why are you keep being in the same neighborhood you used to be 
till date and nothing has changed in your life. And then you blame nature for you being where you are. No, no, no. Blame yourself for being where you are. For where you are, like I said one time in my video, you alone is going to get your ass from where you are. Who are you connecting with? Who are you getting paired to? Who are you sending information to? And who are you receiving information from? If you were a gadget, you need permission to receive files. Why don't you make your life look like that gadget that you need permission? So that nobody can access you when they deem fit. Nobody will see you as an option. Nobody can feel you when they want to feel you. Nobody can feed you when they want to feed you. We ought not to be poor. You know, it breaks my heart a lot. When I see people who can't do shit for themselves, but the truth is, you can't be like Bill Gates. You're never gonna be like Dan Gutti. You're never gonna be like the CEO of Amazon. You're never gonna be like the, the CEO of Facebook. But the ideology of, is that you ought to have a good life. You, you have to do shit that you wanna do for yourself. Having a good life is not about competition. Because I can be satisfied with a million dollars in my account. You want to be satisfied with a hundred million dollars in your account, but what is so important is I am satisfied with life. But then what do you want for yourself? Think about what you want for yourself and fix it right now. That's your homework, great.